Now to the fast moving developments on that plane crash and new reporting tonight on the bomb theory. The Russian jet breaking apart in air, killing all 224 on board. Investigators now want to know if it was an inside job studying new surveillance video at the airport, looking for a suspect with access to the ramp to the plane, raising new questions about airport workers with possible ties to ISIS here in this country. And you're about to see the difference in security for all of us as we board planes and what airport workers go through. Here's ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, tonight. Investigators tonight are focused on whether what happened here was an inside job. An aviation security official tells ABC News that a surveillance video at the Sharm El Sheikh airport is being scrutinized for someone with access to the ramp who may have placed a suspect object in the plane's hold. ISIS may have concluded it's easier to defeat airport security by going around it. And now those same concerns of an inside job are being raised at U.S. airports. Homeland Security does not currently require 100% physical screening of airport workers. Some simply scan their badge and enter a code. For pilots and crew, as ABC station KGO found, their luggage goes uninspected to the dismay of some security analysts. Anyone who has access to the secure area or to the flight line uh, needs to be physically screened to ensure that they aren't bringing dangerous items or illegal items uh, onto an airplane. Aviation security officials tell ABC News today that dozens of current U.S. airport employees are under scrutiny now because of possible ties to or sympathies with extremist groups. They're getting through our screening process and getting into secure areas of the airport and being awarded credentials. I think we had 73 in instances of that. In fact, one of the Americans who went to Syria to join ISIS and was killed there, Abdul Rahman Mohammed, had previously worked for Delta Airlines as a cleaner at the Minneapolis airport. The TSA says it has already taken a number of steps to correct any security shortcomings that could lead to an inside job. And a reminder that now one week later there's still no final determination or hard evidence, David, that it was in fact a bomb that brought the plane down. And of course you'll stay on this, Brian Ross and your team.